one of the things that I'm really appreciating about you is because there is some serious levels to your genius and your your levels of mastery uh, are evident, but you definitely have a way of not making it about you that I admire a lot. And having always looked to try to be a better leader and, you know, over the last seven, eight years is when I've really dedicated my life to working hard to be a great leader. One of the struggles has been, you know, letting ego step in. Um, mm -hmm. Ego, I shared this uh, when I was a, an evangelist. Um, there was like religious competition of who could be holier and who had more of the Holy Spirit, you know, like things like that. And and egos in that. And and then all of a sudden, you're the the place that we're to do things from from our heart. And when we serve, when we love, when we try to assist and support our fellow man. We can't really do that to the best of our ability when ego is present. And I really admire how you've really taken ego out of your work and your way of being and what you teach and how you advise. So I just want to acknowledge you for that. Um, question 18. Yes, sir. If your strategies were fortresses, okay. yep. what would be their impenetrable defenses? Uh, I think, you know, as we do with all clients, you know, something we do for ourselves and what I massively advocate is imagine your fortress has been penetrated, right? Start off with the assumption that you have been overrun. Okay. So this, this allows you two things. It liberates you. Instead of, it liberates you to A, explore why that might have happened, right? And when you explore that, explore everything from, do you know what? It might have been that the gate was left open to, do you know what? A mouse might have come in and the mouse had a bulldozer on his back and, you know, he opened the gate or whatever. Right? So you find even the most obscure stuff and then you can work through them. But the other thing is it puts you in the mind of let's imagine the worst case that the people have been let it, you know, the fortress has been invaded. How do we deal with that? Yeah. Let's come up with some great ideas. So not only would I look to find, I'd also look to how could we how could we do? And it might be the answer is let them in, befriend everyone. Right. Maybe it's never as bad as you think it is. And those are two techniques I use with a lot of clients. The first is called a pre-mortem. Let's imagine the worst has happened and try and identify why. And the second is called, you know, strategic uh, stress testing. Let's imagine the worst case. What do we do then? Because. Even if that doesn't happen, at least we'll have done the thinking and it's better to do the thinking in advance than when we're under a stressful situation.